if you ask your woman, have you ever squirted before? Right. Just a question. Just just having a question. Right. And when you want to know how, not by who, but how or would you just ignore all the information and you say you want to make a squirt? Just a question. I wouldn't ask my woman, has she ever squirted before? I wouldn't ask her that. We just having a, you you and her just having a quick question, quick quick kind of conversation. Not in my house. Oh, you not up. in my house. And it came up. Would you, you want to know she's how pregnant? so you can make her do the same thing? Just a question. So he saw I, so I would not ask my woman <laughs> if she's ever squirted. It came before. up somehow. Would you want to know how? That's the question. No, I wouldn't want to know how. No. <laughs> No, I, I completely disagree, Israel. I, I don't understand. I don't think there's any problem with listening to your woman tell you what she wants. Um, here's the thing. And and every and the ladies was absolutely right. Majority of women have already have said that they they have not orgasm or uh climax during penetration with me. <laughs> I think the problem is that a lot of women don't open up their mouths. And then also, I, mean, I, think, I gotta use another phrase, but open up your mouth because every time I it, it just don't sound right. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but no, and here's the thing how many times, like, if I, how many times I swear I say this all the time if you tell a man, if you twist that knob over there, do a backflip, come over here and do a, do a jig, you're gonna get the waterfall from me. You think a man not gonna try it? You can't expect me to take you. You think a man not gonna give you what you want? Most women don't open up their mouths. They, they, as a matter of fact, from what I've heard from a lot of men, they lay on their backs and hope for you to just make shit work. I'm gonna lay here and you do all the work and you better make me come. That's most of the time. So unless you start engaging with your partner and having conversations with them and doing something other than laying on your back. Maybe you'll get a lot more out of the deal than just him getting the nut off. Oh, hell yeah. But I think most men are more than willing to make their women come. I don't think no man out here like, man, fuck her nut. I'm just going to get mine. No, there's some niggas out here like that, Sweeney. Don't act like I said most. I didn't say that there wasn't some. I think most men are in the business of making their women get a nut off. Especially women they give a damn about. Like... Nobody wants to deal with it. Nobody think nobody out here trying to have a woman lay next to him all every day and she ain't getting off. But you gotta open also, up. Also, if your you're mouth. married, it probably gets old after a while. So I mean, like, are you switching it up? Are you doing different nice things? Are you incorporate incorporating, you know, different ideas? Are you being spontaneous? You know, I would think all that would have to be incorporated too, because <laughs> you you talk about spending the rest of your life with that one person. So you know, both of you may get bored of the same things after a while. So that and, that that could play. Yeah, and that requires y'all to, and that requires people to open up their mouths. Let's keep it real. It don't take much to get a man off. Hell, we do just we do a pretty good job in the bathroom with a magazine. It's not hard, but for us to get y'all off, you have to speak. You have to say not too fast. Slow down. Lick right here. Do it a little faster. Hey, you remember that thing that we did that night when we was drunk? Do that thing again. Men are yeah. obliged. Oh, really? You, I thought, man, I was just over there trying some shit. You really like that? Yeah, I really like that. All right, then. Let's do it again. And that makes it fun. <laughs> like, you do different shit. Did you like that? Did you like this? Like, you know, sex is supposed to be fun. It can't just be like... Just fucking and then just go to sleep. Like you gotta talk about it, you know. Hey, how y'all doing? I'm I'm new to the panel. What's going on? What's good, y'all? <laughs> First of all, you spelled my name wrong, man. You could at least spell my name right. No, no, my name is Sweeney with two E's. What, what's going on, y'all? How y'all doing? Man? <laughs> it's three E's, brother. You, it's three okay, E's. Okay, yo, yo, welcome, I'm, welcome me to the panel. How y'all doing, man? How's everybody <laughs> going? How's everybody doing today? What Did he just change about? his shirt? He really changed his shirt. What we talking oh, about? Oh, in the head. What we talking about? Head. What we talking about? Head. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Like, like, doing? Y'all hilarious. What we talking hey, about? Like, hey, like, and he going to see too. <laughs> uh, so, so can I get in on this topic? What's what's going on? What's what's the deal? What we talking about, y'all? Yeah, you can well, go right now. Right now. You got to interrupt him now. 
Okay, so Sweeney. Okay, I, I will interrupt this, Israel this, right now. This, this, My name is Israel Sweeney. right I'm now. I'm that dude. I'm that dude. <laughs> no, Sweeney. Hey. <laughs> hey, so yeah, you. I'm not that insecure. Guy. You're that guy. I'm not insecure. I don't need no woman to tell me anything. I got well, this. <laughs> well, hold on. There was, there was this dude. I got four was, kids. There was four of them. Earlier, well, there was this dude yeah. earlier named uh, Israel, right? And I oh think that God. what he was saying was not that he does not listen to his woman because that would be preposterous. That would be ridiculous. Of course, he communicates with his oh woman. God. At the same time, can I you let that, me finish? Can I think what that finish? gentleman was saying was that um, he doesn't ask his I woman about Ali, the interaction about the interaction with another, really uh, another man. So no, we we say that. Okay, that's, that's what that man Israel was saying earlier. I just want to say one thing to that, please. No, the the oh problem with your statement is that anytime you, you even inquire about what she likes, if she is not a virgin, she's going to be telling you what has happened to her, regardless if she say the name or not. So that's why I, I just don't agree with that part. I just think you don't ask. Or you just get with someone that doesn't have a past because she's gonna tell you what someone else did, regardless if the name was there. So that's why I don't understand what you're saying. So light skin well, Sweeney, you, I want to ask you a like, question. Would, Can would I ask you a like question, light skin Sweeney? Would you like to understand or what? Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, thumb, okay. Yes. So ju just a question. If you ask your woman, "Have you ever squirted before?" Right. Just a question. Just just having a question. Right. And when you want to know how, not by who, but how, or would you just ignore all the information and you say you want to make a squirt? Just a question. I wouldn't ask my woman, has she ever squirted before? I wouldn't ask her that. We just have it. You, you and her just having a quick question, quick, quick kind of conversation. Not in my house. Oh, you up. not in my house. And it came up. Would you, you want to know she's how so you can make her do the same thing? Just a question. So, He's so I, would not, a squirt? I would not ask my woman <laughs> if she's ever squirted. It came before. up somehow. Would you want to know how? That's the question. No, I wouldn't want to know how. No. Oh, you're silly. I don't know. I wouldn't want to know how. <laughs> no. How dare she? I wouldn't want to know how. <laughs> how dare no. she squirt? <laughs> Bro, are y'all serious? How dare she have a sexual you tell me about another me. man in the past? Wait, I hey, hey Jr. I thought I thought we said we was having a, a, a intellect. Uh, no, I, 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 I don't know. I thought I'll we was having. We're gonna finish with Ali. We're gonna finish with Ali. Then we're gonna go ahead. Nobody. I'm gonna get actually. I'm gonna ask the panel again, respectfully, with men and women. Doesn't your connection with someone change when you're genuinely crazy about them? Like when you crazy about them. Like when you're crazy about somebody, I don't see the sex getting old. Like you just have to be crazy about them. And if you know they're crazy about you, it takes it to a whole nother level. So I don't think it get. And even talking about having sex with other people, if you just do the natural hold off, y'all just this couple of days, y'all playing around, teasing each other a little bit, just hold off on and stuff. It just almost like if you're crazy about the person, it should be amazing. Like I don't see when people are settling in relationships and they're not into each other or like Lady Di say, if they were into each other and now they're neglecting each other and busy doing other things. I can see how that happens <clears throat> both ways. If y'all not crazy about each other, I just don't see it happening. It's going to happen for the guy, but it's going to get old for him as well, too. He's not doing nothing to please you. And he probably going to stop having other issues. But if you have the man has to be crazy about you and y'all know y'all got to be crazy about the guy. So I don't know how all these people are just settling. Well, I do know how they settling, but that's a big problem. The love making um, the enemy. She says she's not the enemy of the man. Is that what <laughs> men are not the enemy? Men are not, not the enemy. <laughs> she said it. We we focusing more on having sex than we all love. They're making having like you really right. y'all really it's true. Each other. If you it's really all about communication. somebody, man, just a touch. Like if you really into somebody, just looking at them, even they present, just getting, they present. You like whoa, like if mm -hmm. you really love them, like you really into them. You know what I'm saying? I think that that part of the whole in our society is gone. We into each other for all the wrong reasons. 